So today we're making shrimp scampi from scratch. It's one of the first things I learned to make when I was younger, but I always used the store-bought scampi mix. And here's a little tidbit. Scampi is actually not the name of the sauce. It's the name of a crustacean used in the dish. It pretty much looks like a large shrimp with lobster claws, and it looks to be found in Europe, like Italy, you know, where the dish is known from. At least that's what Olive Garden tells me. But in the States, it's not easily found, so shrimp is switched out. And I'm going off what the internet says about this, so if you're from outside the US, I'd love to hear from you about this. Scampi sauce is simple enough that you shouldn't be buying this from the store. It's an oil, butter, garlic, and parsley base that on its own is gonna make your shrimp taste awesome. And on top of that, I'm gonna be adding some lemon juice as well as some red crushed pepper flakes just to jazz it up a bit. And I don't know about you, but 2020 did me dirty in the weight department. I mean, I gained like 20 pounds in this last year. It's been ridiculous. So instead of topping it off with a pasta like linguine, I'm gonna be using some spaghetti squash to lower the carb intake. So if you're doing a low carb diet like keto right now, this is gonna be perfect for you. Let's get into the recipe. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna get our spaghetti squash started. This should take about 40 to 50 minutes in the oven, so plan accordingly. Cut the spaghetti squash in half, then scoop out the seeds. You can throw this part out or compost. Poke a few holes into the squash with a fork. This allows the steam to escape the squash while it's baking, avoiding any explosions. Then place them onto a baking dish and then we're gonna add in some butter. I'm using about four tablespoons, but if you feel this is too much, cut the amount down to half. Season with salt and pepper and then place in the oven preheated at 400 degrees for about 40 minutes until fork tender. Next, we're gonna dice a medium shallot, cutting once through the middle then making thin slices across the top. Slice thinly, then place into a bowl. Then we're gonna chop up about four garlic cloves. Press down on each clove firmly with a knife. This helps get the skin off, but it also releases some of those aromatics. And like the shallot, we'll make a few thin slices across the top, then slice thinly the other way. Once this is all done, I'm just gonna bunch it all together and give it one more rough chop just for good measure and then place it all into a bowl. And lastly, we'll take about a cup of flat leaf Italian parsley and give it a rough chop, place it into a bowl and set it aside. We're gonna put about two tablespoons of olive oil in a pan over medium high heat, along with two tablespoons of butter. I'm using ghee here, which is just a fancy word for clarified butter, and this just reduces the risk of burning the butter so we don't have a brown scampi sauce. Let it melt, and then add in your shallots and garlic, stirring occasionally. Oh yeah, and added about a half a cup of white wine. Let this simmer for about three to four minutes, seasoning with about a half a teaspoon of salt and a pinch of crushed red pepper flakes. Now we're ready to add in about one pound of large shrimp. I'm leaving the tail on to add a little bit more flavor and it also looks pretty in pictures, but if you want to make this easier to eat, remove the tail. Let this simmer for about two to three minutes until your shrimp is opaque. Then toss in a little more crushed red pepper flakes and your parsley. By now your spaghetti squash should be done, so we're just gonna take it out of the oven. You'll know it's done when you can poke it with a fork and there's little to no resistance. Use a fork to shred it up and soak in the remaining butter. Then pour it out onto a plate and top it off with your shrimp. And if you want, Pour out some of that remaining scampi sauce and sprinkle a little more parsley on top. Okay, before I get this on the table for the family, let's have a taste. That is good scampi. Except I forgot one thing. Forgot the lemon. 
Now I should have put this in during the cook. So you're gonna wanna do that um, or just put it on afterwards. And if you do it during the cook, make sure to use some of the zest. I'll give it some of that tanginess that you want with the lemon. So I'm gonna try one more piece. There we go. It's got the tanginess from the lemon. You get that nice smooth fattiness from the oil and the butter. And the garlic doesn't really hit you too hard. It's just there, which is nice. And you know what? The spaghetti squash is a really nice touch. You're getting those veggies in and it makes this a low carb meal. So that's the best of both worlds. And you know what? If you want to use pasta and linguine, go right ahead. It's not going to make a difference. But if you're looking for a light weeknight meal, you can't go wrong with this. And on top of that, you're not using anything out of a bottle except for the wine and the olive oil, but you get what I'm saying. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this to the table, let the family enjoy it. And that's all I got for this video. So I hope you enjoyed the recipe. If you like what you see, let me know in the comments down below, hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe, I put new videos up every week and make sure they hit that bell for notifications and I'll see you in the next video.